<laughs> Rupert Murdoch, you've described as being a malignant cancer on Australian democracy. That's correct. What evidence do you have that he has misused his power for commercial reasons? The evidence that I have is that the National Broadband Network, which we, the Australian Labor Party, planned to introduce at the time and were in the process of introducing, was going to deliver broadband fibre optic to every household in the country. What Murdoch internally concluded, and I have this from my own News Limited sources, uh, was that uh, this was a major threat to his Foxtel cable Which entertainment was, yeah. monopoly around the country because our broadband network, and was never introduced for these purposes, would have enabled competitors like Netflix to deliver their entertainment services online to every household in the yes. country, therefore holding or undermining the profitability, as Murdoch saw it, of uh, of uh, his Foxtel network. There's no proof yet. I mean, all that's beyond doubt. It would have harmed him. There's no question. But where is the proof that he actually went to his editors and said, run a dishonest campaign against Kevin Rudd for these reasons? Where well, is the, the evidence? One of his editors uh, rang me after being called to a meeting in Sydney in around about July... August of uh, 2013, summoned to a meeting by Col Allen, the then editor of the New York Post, yep. not an Australian newspaper in my recent experience. He's been... your drinking mate from uh, the strip club. That's true, yeah. uh, yeah. in the great tradition of uh, News Limited. Uh, I gather the boys used to go there on a regular basis. But then again, who am I to complain about that? Because I was I was uh, had fair and square for that one. But Col Allen, not running an Australian newspaper, is sent back yeah. to uh, Sydney by Rupert Murdoch to run that campaign from Holt Street. No one from News Limited has this ever disputed that. This is still suspicion. That. It's not hang, evidence. Hang on. So you don't think it's a little puzzling to you, Neil Mitchell? I know you're right for the Herald Sun. No, I don't. Uh, used well, to. you used to. Yeah. Uh, do you don't think it's a little suspicious that an American newspaper editor at that stage, Col Allen, is brought back to Sydney. But suspicion for is not hang proof. On. Where's the proof? Because one of his uh, attendees at that meeting rang me to warn me what was about to unfold. And what he said, oh, Rupert said we have to do this for commercial reasons. No, what uh, what he said to me was that Col Allen had said to them, go hard, go rud, and don't let up until the end. Well, maybe he thought you were a dodgy prime minister. Maybe it was a legitimate campaign to say we've got to get rid of this government. So why where was is it? The, where is the proof so of commercial why, uh, pollution? So, so why was... Uh, why suddenly, Neil, did the editorial coverage uh, of our government change from one day to the next when the model of our national broadband network went from fibre optic to the node to fibre optic to the premises? Because that was the commercial threat to his interests. And as a result of that, they were determined uh, to kill us. Okay. Furthermore, if you want another piece of evidence, my friend... That's not evidence still. Hang that's on. that's sus supposition. No. Uh, well, and you can I've say seen you run. I've seen you th run... A, yeah, but I'm say not particular... calling somebody a malignant cancer on the democracy of the country. That's very well, you know why? stuff. Because, and nor am I suggesting because, that we interfere because, in the independence Because of the very media. few people in the political process uh, in this country, Neil, have the guts to stand up and say that. We still haven't proved and you know, And do you know why? Because what they do is, and you know this, having observed the media in this country for a very long time, is they come after you. They attack you personally, which is why people in journalism, people in business, people in politics leave Murdoch alone. But Seven, have we got the evidence think, yet? Do you think, Neil Mitchell, it's healthy to have one editor, sorry, one publisher controlling 70% of the do print you know circulation why you in this have? country? Because your party engineered it to shut up a critic, which was the old Herald and Weekly Times. Your party, Hawk and Keating, handed that to Rupert Murdoch because well, they thought he'd be a mate. Well, why don't we go and back... he wasn't. He's a businessman. Why don't we go back to Bob Menzies and, uh, no, no, and no, Keith no, Murdoch and the pre-war period? We still haven't got any evidence. You've got supposition. You've got... And, and I don't deny you that. You can say, look, this, this and this happened. Um, I think it's dodgy. Well, but let me, you have well, no well, proof. It, let me um, put this to you, Neil Mitchell. Yes. Why is, it, why is it then that uh, when uh, Abbott and his then communications spokesman, uh, Malcolm Turnbull, uh, mysteriously came up with a national broadband policy which uh, fitted in with the news uh, limited interest in only having a broadband network which went to the node and not to the premises. Why then, hang on, why then did News Limited, News Corp, organise for the, the launch of this policy to be held 
at Foxtel Studios in Sydney, presided over by the News Corp executives. Reason to be suspicious, it is not evidence, but let, let's move I on. I think it's pretty fundamental, and I think you are stretching the argument to defend the abuse of media power by New- Rupert Murdoch what you're trying to, to defend do, his commercial what interests. What you're trying to do by wanting a royal commission, even, even let, let's move on to this organisation. We're part of the Fairfax organisation, although they don't, they don't like to admit it, but we are. <laughs> and your object, you think that the Channel 9 Fairfax merger should what? Be stopped, reviewed? What should happen? Reviewed, but I understand that's been done by the ACCC anyway. Look, there's a broader question for the future of Australian media. You know this as well as I do. You've had the ABC at various stages under assault. You've seen what's happened recently with Michelle Guthrie being taken out uh, through political pressure, it seems. You have a radical change in media ownership now with the proposed nine takeover of Fairfax. And you've got Murdoch with 70% of the print ownership of the country. By the way, the critique of Murdoch's not mine, mate, alone for this country. You talk to our American friends about yep. the use and abuse of Fox in the United States. You wouldn't have Trump today if you didn't have Fox. But what's your point on nine hey, fair facts? Hang I mean, on, hang on. Are you going to stop and the market And you wouldn't have Brexit deciding? without Murdoch doing what he's done in Britain with the combination of uh, the you, Times and the combination of what he does with the Sun. Are you going to... Do you want the market to decide nine fair facts or not? No, regulators should, and that's the ACCC. And you think it should be stopped? I think we need to look very carefully at what happens to an independent masthead, which has been in this country, I think, for 150 years, suddenly disappearing, and thereby uh, from a uh, commercial television program, which, as you know, does not have a long tradition in investigative reporting and the investment in uh, investigative journalism that Fairfax has put in over the years. By what right does any politician or former politician say this is the media you'll have? The market decides that. You and if, th- if you I'm think, unethical, you think, you think if a, I'm unethical, you think or a free market. You, uh, Neil, do you think a free market uh, gets to determine? Uh, what the media does in a country exclusively in the absence of laws and regulations, given that you are the part of the lifeblood of our democracy? Well, pigs might fly, mate. We're pretty you well th- controlled think, already by think, laws and think regulations. You think a bunch of people you're, you're looking s- for a Chinese system here. So you're happy with Peter Costello being the guy who's in charge of, uh, of Fairfax because he's the guy currently in charge of Nine. Do you think the Australian public might scratch their hand? I think scratch that's their, a matter for scratch, Fairfax scratch, and Nine. I don't think it's a matter, I think it's a matter question. for you or government. I think you are trying to set up an, a Chinese system here. Uh, that you're is trying to, t- wonderf- to take media a, down is, the line to control by a, state. What a wonderful debating point, uh, yeah, we'll Neil Mitchell. Because if you want to read the People's Daily each day, you should pick up a copy of The Australian. Because oh. it, it runs it runs the editorial line of the Conservatives in this country and has done so since Adam was a boy. You know that.